All right, wanted to show you guys the car in the sun. But look at this thing, how hard it's candying. Finally got it uh, out of the garage because it was raining so hard over here. So, but wanted to show you uh, the car before we buff it and how it came out straight out of the gun. Came out nice and pretty clean for what it is. But look at that color. I don't know how it looks in the actual video. It's hard to see, but over here, I tell you what, it's candy and like you wouldn't believe on these bends of these body lines. And that's why I like keeping this thing crisp and not double clearing it because it leaves these nice and crisp because you don't have too much material and you start to lose some of these lines that are gonna really hit, hit it hard with the candy. But looks really, really nice. And uh, we're gonna nib it out and buff it, flatten it down and make this thing like a mirror. So just wanted to show it to you before we actually started on it, on the buffing stage. All right, so we're pulled in the garage now. I let it cool off and uh, I'm hitting the nibs, the bigger nibs with a thousand grit, with a block. So there's only a couple on this hood. There's maybe five on the hood. One, two, three, four, five. We got five of them. And the big nibs I'm hitting with a thousand with a block. And like I said, there's not many on this car. There's five on the hood, a couple on the sides of it. And one here on the quarter, one on the trunk, as far as dirt goes. And the rest will just be knocking down the orange peel. We got one on the quarter, but like I said, it came out very clean for uh, what we were doing there. So we got those bigger nibs knocked down flat. That way you don't have any mountains in your clear and you can start now just leveling it off. We did get one build up on the edge of this door. It got a little heavy on the edge, nothing crazy. And I'm blocking that down with a thousand before I start doing the rest of it too. So it didn't run real bad but it just wanted to almost build up on this edge and it's coming out fine. So I'll show you that once we're all done, but that's the only spot that wanted to build up and it was the clear, it wasn't the candy. So we didn't have to worry about the clear or the candy uh, getting dark on the edge cause just the clear built up. So we got lucky on that, but that's the only spot on it that had a little bit of an issue with it. So now we'll start uh, getting this thing smoothed down and I did bake this car, so you guys know, uh, we sprayed it in a heated booth and I baked it really good. So that way it's, it's hardened up well and I'm buffing it a couple days later. So you wanna make sure it sets up good before you buff it, cause then it'll haze over later and you don't wanna have to buff it twice. But this clear here, you gotta get on it soon or it hardens up like rocks. So you wanna get on this as soon as you can, but don't wait too long, otherwise, you're gonna be buffing concrete, but that's what makes it a good clear. Once it's dry, it's dry. So we baked it and we waited a couple days and now we're gonna be buffing it out. So just wanted to show you how I handle my bigger nibs and then how I do the rest. We'll go out, we're gonna finish this thing out in 5,000 grit with the uh, Trizac. So we'll keep on uh, getting it ready. Then we're gonna move into a longer block. I have a block here and we're gonna cut it quick with a thousand grit block. And then we'll smooth it down with a 2000 grit. We're gonna go to 3000 grit and then 5000 grit. So, but the thousand I'm hitting quick just to knock down some of the uh, peel quicker than trying to uh, sand it with 2000 or uh, like 15. So I'm gonna hit it with the thousand quick, go to the uh, 2000 and then move up to the Trizax. So I wanted to show you guys the block I'm using. It's just a, it's a uh, hard kind of block, like a Dura block, but it's a nice size for blocking out this uh, clear. So we're using the thousand and uh, we're gonna block it out. All right, so that's the quarter now blocked out with the thousand grit. And I don't take all the peel out. I leave some of the peel in it that way, when I hit it with that 2000, I'll take the, you know, the rest of that peel out and I'll cut it finer. So I just use the thousand to knock off most of that peel quicker. Using that block, it gets it straighter. And then when I go to my 2000 now, it's just refining it to where 
it'll cut that scratch down. That there is still wet, it's drying. And then we'll uh, be able to use the 2000, but you guys can see it's, it's still got some peel in it. I'm just hitting it quick to uh, knock down most of that. So I'm not sanding all day on this thing because this is a very big job to buff a car out of this size and it's its own job in itself. So I haven't done a big buff job in a long time because I do a lot of nibbing now. So I'm not really going for a mirror finish like this car is gonna have. So this will be a whole nother animal and a whole nother job here to get this thing fine tuned the way I want it to. So it's gonna take a couple of days through this whole process to do it. But I'm gonna show you this quarter, how it's gonna come out finished. That way you guys can see the steps on this and then I'll show you the whole car when it's all finished up in another video. But so we use a thousand, we're gonna go to 2000, 3000 and 5000. We're gonna go to the 2000 and you guys see, I stay away from all of my, my bends with the thousand. I only hit my flat areas with the thousand grit. Don't go hitting the curves and the bends and the edges with a thousand. Just get your main panel or you could use 12, but I like getting it a little bit flatter to start. That way uh, it's slicker and flatter, but stay off your edges. A lot of guys will tape their edges. I've seen if they're scared, if you're new to it, just take your time and uh, try to do, uh, be careful while you're doing it. So I'm moving on to the 2000 now with the block. are nice too you could use these blocks here to uh, dry them because they are like a squeegee almost they used to have squeegees back in the day that you could squeegee the panel off to see how peely it is so see how that's drying now flat and uh, or use a rag and wipe it to make sure you're good don't keep sanding and sanding check it every so often to make sure you're uh, where you need to be because you don't want to take too much off. So this is definitely something you want to be experienced in. If you're doing a paint job like this, I would hope you are, but this is definitely not something you want to just keep on sanding at. I know where I'm at with it, so I know where to stop and when to, when to stop. All right, so after I run over it now with the 2000 block, all these areas here I used by hand with 2000 on my, on my uh, round areas. I don't go over these with the uh, thousand because it's not necessary because they're slicker because of the way this valleys you don't really need to do all that and yes I'm going to be blocking it all the way down on the quarter and wet sand and buffing all that down low that way the whole bottom of this thing's like a mirror so we got to go over that still down here I don't block because of all these angles you're going to want to use a soft very soft pad to block it out as best you can. Don't use a hard rigid block, especially inside some of these valleys. These blocks I'm using are rubber, so they're not very rigid, but they're rigid enough to where you could gouge some of these spots, because this is all angled different ways. So we're gonna finish up this part and then go to the 3000, but I wanted to show you what I do on all my edges. Go by hand and never sand with your fingers this way because you'll leave finger marks. Always sand sideways when you're using your hand. Otherwise, you're gonna leave lines in this. And like I said, I only do this on the actual curves because you can get in here with your fingers better than anything. Same thing up here. And these are very much a lot slicker than the rest of it because of the way it's flowed out in here in these angles. So you don't have to go crazy in these. So go by hand, nice and easy. And uh, it'll all, blend in nice and you know smooth when it's all done so we're continuing on this quarter and i'm going to buff this quarter for you guys just to show you guys how it's going to look while when it's done but i wanted to show you the stages of this you guys know i showed you a video last time and nibbing one out at, at work and uh i don't do a lot of full panel buffing anymore they're pretty clean and they're usually build them and shoot them out to the customer because they're clean enough for the uh, you know collision industry so they're not doing show car paint jobs but 
This one here is gonna be a show car, so we're gonna make it glass flat, like I told you guys, a mirror. So I'm gonna finish sanding it, and then uh, we'll move on to the Trizac. All right, now we're fully flat with the 2000 grit, all the way down the bottom, all the way down here on the bottom. And now we're gonna hit it with a 3000 Trizac on the DA, and then the 5000 Trizac. And I'm gonna buff up this quarter here so that you guys can see how this job's gonna look all said and done. All right, you can see it's already refined down really nice and it's already shining pretty good with that 5000. So we're gonna be hitting it now with a foam pad with the 3M rubbing compound and then we'll hit it with the black and the blue. So I wanna show you how this quarter is gonna look and this is how the whole car is gonna look. This is just my way of doing it. There's plenty of ways to do this to get to a uh, you know a nice shine using different grits, but this is what's worked for me through the years to get something fast, straight, and uh, looking good. So we got plenty of clear left on this. I didn't sand for long on it at all in each of the steps. So you guys seen that in the video, but we got it slick. So let's go ahead and polish it up. And this should shine up really quick, especially with that 5,000 that we're using. That's gonna give it to a mirror finish fast because you've already did half of the buffing when you're sanding it. You know, back in the old times, you used to use like thousand and buff that up, use wool pads, but you're refining the scratch so you don't have to use them wool pads and uh, buff it forever. You can just get it nice and smooth by sanding it and it gets it flatter and then you just polish it up nice. All right, we got it all compound and uh, we wiped it off with a microfiber. And look at the gloss on that thing. I think we got a mirror like we said we were going for. So that's just compounded. And I'm gonna hit it with the black now and then the blue. And I'll show it to you guys out of the garage. But look at that shine and look at that body. Straight as an arrow and looks beautiful. So sometimes like I was telling you, you don't need to flow coat them, but this thing came out beautiful and it's gonna be awesome when it's done. So let's finish up polishing it up. And we're using the black 3M now, the machine polish, and then we're gonna go to the blue. I don't know if I showed you guys that. This is 06094. All right, so look at that gloss out in the sun. Real flat and slick. That's what all three stages of the uh, 3M and we finished it out with 5,000, so it's real slick and nice. And look at that thing shining like you wouldn't believe. Definitely flat and straight and has a beautiful look to it. So this color, I was telling you, I can't believe how nice it is out in the sun. I hope you guys could see it, how it candies, but it's got an unbelievable glow and certain lighting. But we're gonna be buffing it all out and you guys will see it all said and done in the end. But I wanted to show you guys at least one part of me buffing it. That way you guys can see what I'm gonna do to it and uh, the stages. But I definitely ain't done with my work. I thought my work was getting done and it looks like I'm gonna be working on this thing for quite some time still. So hope you guys like this video of me buffing it out and seeing the uh, end result of how the quarter will look. And uh, you guys will definitely see it all said and done. So appreciate it and see you next time.